many prominent Australians, and uh, um, these names may, may ring a bell to you. John Howard, uh, former Prime Minister of Australia, Tony Abbott, who's now the leader of the opposition and who was in fact Austra uh, Australians for Constitutional Monarchy's first executive director, mm. as well as some other prominent figures from the uh, more progressive mm. uh, side of politics, such as a, a former High Court judge, uh, Michael Kirby. They've all used the term crowned republic to right. describe Australia, obviously suggesting that Australia is already a form of republic under the crown or a crowned republic. Mm -hmm. How do you think this term uh, would describe, or is this an effective term? Well, it's funny enough, I, uh, I, I've heard the term used by, uh, uh, by uh, 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 a British journalist um, uh, from the, the Guardian newspaper uh, uh, who called Britain uh, uh, a royal republic. So, uh, Crown Republic, I mean, there is, there is something in that. I mean, we're not, we're not uh, uh, a monarchy um, in, uh, in, a, in, a, in an ancien regime sense. Um, we are fully uh, one of the, uh, part of one, the family of nations, of, of fully democratic nations. Uh, so, uh, yes, you could, in fact, uh, uh, choose to, uh, to uh, cut uh, uh, ties with the with 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 a monarch, uh, but then the prerogatives of the monarch have to devolve onto somebody, uh, and uh, of course, in in, in the case of, of Britain, they've devolved onto the prime minister and and uh, and so on. So uh, you don't necessarily solve the problem you think you're going to.